Hey everybody, it is November 3rd. It is day 126 of the Celebrate Project. We're still doing this. We still have 219 days to go. Uh, today's Sandwich Day. It's National Sandwich Day. And this is a day I've been waiting for this day for a while. Since I plugged in early on, when I plugged in all the days for the calendar throughout the entire project, I've been looking forward to this day because... On this day, there's a sandwich that I've always wanted to make, and it's just one of those things where I've always put it off, and I've been like, ah, you know, I'll make it someday, and it's always, like, out there somewhere, and it's never actually happened where I sat down to make the sandwich. Well, I don't have any more excuses because it's National Sandwich Day. What kind of sandwich am I making? In 2004, Adam Sandler put out a movie called Spanglish. A lot of you are already guessing what I'm going to be making. In the middle of the movie, he goes to make a late-night snack, and... He makes what is called the best sandwich in the world. The sandwich was created by a chef by the name of Thomas Kreller. Um, like a lot of things that I have done with the recipes here in the Celebrate Project, I couldn't find all the correct ingredients, so I've had to substitute some things. In the recipe, it calls for a certain kind of bread, which is apparently very important to this sandwich. I was not able to locate that bread anywhere. But everybody I talked to said, well, you can substitute sourdough. It's definitely not going to be even close uh, to the way that bread tastes. It's a it's as close as you can find without going to a specialty shop. The other ingredient was lettuce. Butter lettuce is what I was looking for. Nobody had it. I even went to an organic uh, supermarket and they didn't have butter lettuce either. So I have lettuce and I have California sourdough instead of the correct uh, bread and the correct lettuce. Big surprise. I will post the recipe for this uh, sandwich in the description box for this video and you guys can try and make your own sandwich. I'm gonna make the best sandwich in the world. It'd be awesome. I've been waiting forever to do this. So that's it people, it, that was uh, National Sandwich Day. I've got a cold, cold glass root beer and I've got my world's best sandwich, which was cool because it actually worked. Um, the yolk is supposed to mix with everything so I didn't overcook it. So let's um, give this a try. Well, wow, it's actually a really a good sandwich. And you know what's really cool about this day? Um, it's something simple like make a sandwich day. It's something really simple. Um, but the thing is, since I saw the movie in 2004, it's one of those little things that I've said, I always wanted to, I would, someday I'll do that, or maybe someday, or sometime, you know, I'll try that, or that would be cool to do. It's just kind of really sad, I mean, this, this is like the most satisfying sandwich in the world, not because it's really, really good, but because it's literally been, what, eight years since the movie came out? And I'm just now getting around to making the sandwich that was there when I could have just done it when I got home that day. So yeah, those little things that you don't do that you put off to say someday, go do them. Because it's uh, pretty satisfying when you do. Taking the initiative to make one is, is now up to you. So I hope you guys follow the recipe and uh, make yourself what's called the world's greatest sandwich. Happy National Sandwich Day. See you guys later.